Welcome to DreamNut.com's tutorial for installing a new domain on your DreamHost web panel. Right now I'm at GoDaddy.com. I've already registered a domain name. I'm going to Domains Manage Domain Names. I've already logged in, of course. So this is my domain control center. I'm going to select the checkbox next to DreamNut.com, then click the locking button. It will now ask me if I want to lock or unlock. I'm going to say unlock, and then I'm going to hit OK, and OK is off the screen here. It'll tell you that it successfully unlocked it, and, it, and it'll take a few minutes to actually unlock this. So we're going to go over to your DreamHost control panel, and now I'm at the DreamHost manage domains area, which is found under the domains area. So you can see all the different domains that I have here on the top area but I'm going to need to add a new one. So go to Add New Domain. Once this loads, it's going to show a form for uh, adding a new domain. So just put in your domain name at the top, and that will automatically put in the folder name down here in the web directory. So you're going to need to remember this when you use FTP access later on. Now there's also FTP user. You can change this to other users that you've created in your DreamHost area. Uh, you can add users also from this area by clicking that drop down and selecting the last option. Lastly, I'm going to add www dot in front of my domain names because some web scripts require that. And then hit fully host this domain now. And this will take a few moments to have it set up because it has to check if the domain is available. Okay, so it's been added to your hosting system, and you'll soon see it appear on Manage My Domains when you click on that. But right now you're going to have to copy ns1.dreamhost.com, that's your name server. You're going to go back to GoDaddy, click on DreamNut, or your domain name. And then here you'll see your name servers are set to these default ones that GoDaddy uses. So you're going to need to click on Name Servers, and then click Custom Name Servers and then highlight and delete the name servers that GoDaddy uses and replace it with ns1.dreamhost.com and ns2.dreamhost.com and ns3 for all those different name servers. And then you'll hit save. Okay, so it's been submitted and that's pretty much all you have to do.